Take a city. Any city. What does it contain? A setting suitable for bustling society? It runs on pressed ties, shine shoes, slicked hair, all clockwork. For most, this is perfect. And why shouldn't it be? Stores sell neatly packaged goods in bulk. Technology allows a sense of efficiency, and the kids all aspire to be doctors, lawyers, businessmen. Those boys and girls grow up, procreate, and the cycle begins anew. People grow content. Over time, many might simply lose their sense of wonder, trading it in for convention, and join the masquerade. Fronts are put up, personas constructed to fit social norms. In the end, man can lose what's truly important. An event has manifested in society. Through various mediums, teens on the verge of adulthood are invited, and many choose to attend. Some ignore the signs, others fail to find the starting line, but everyone has heard rumors concerning its risks and its fabled prize. Leo, look! Wow, it's actually the past. This is happening. And there's the car. Wait, God! This is obviously a bad idea. Trust me. Past contestants return with tales of excitement danger, which circulate down to prospective competitors. Other contestants, however, do not wish to speak of their experiences at all. Everyone is given one chance to be a victor, a fact that only augments the pressures felt by teens. They anxiously exchange rumors, stories, and possible strategies with one another, until the day comes when they are called. Parents keeping in mind of the success of past victors, acquiesce to their youth's participation in what is considered an extremely dangerous contest of survival. Con? Yeah? What do you think the Saxo is? I don't know. We've heard the same rumors. What do you think, man? I don't know. It's hard to take anything from all the rumors we've heard. All I know is that my parents will be worried when I don't come home tonight. I'm sure they know what we're doing. I think a lot of other teams will be there tonight. Are you scared, Con? Leo, if you and I stick together, we'll be fine. Welcome, everyone. To the contest that will change your lives forever. Many of your parents and the parents before them have attended this. Some have walked away champions. Others have walked away with memories of failure and remorse. But tonight, you will shape your destiny. The game is quite simple and shall continue until only one person is left. All of you have lived the entirety of your life within the city. Tonight, though, may the forest be your realm. I hope it goes without saying that fleeing the woods' borders calls for immediate disqualification. This has been best described by most as a battle royale, and... Well, it seems that we have more contestants. And 
Who are you? Me? Yes. You. My name is Khan. Excuse me? Khan! I didn't ask for your name. You know, people don't seem to understand that question when I ask it. If you're lucky, maybe one day you will. Your presence here is based upon our tacit agreement that you have a chance. A chance for what? Say it! You. Hit him. Oh, what the hell, Ryan? Oh, good. You two are friends. I don't think you're cut out for this game. Ah! Sorry, darling. I think it's time for you to go home now. Lucky you. I have two extra masks. In this competition, there is but one rule. Never take off your masks. Manipulation of that rule is the key to success. You have 15 minutes before we begin. Good luck. I'll get over there, you get over there. Yeah, got it. Leo! Me and you, no matter what, we're gonna be the last one standing. Thanks for getting my back. I owe you. I'm sure you did ah. This wasn't kidding about that. That was so uh. close. I almost uh. lost mine. Whatever. Uh. Uh. What? Uh. 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 <sighs> Another one down. Listen my way. Khan, gotta get out of here. Anyone could have heard that. What happened to those guys anyways? Not sure, but we won.
And that's what matters. Stupid mask. Look! They're right out in the open. Come on, Leo! This is the perfect chance! Let's run them down! Come on! Just let them fight it out. They're gonna get picked off anyway. Look! He's injured! Oh my gosh, you're right. Don't worry about it. He can't win. He doesn't have a you chance. You don't understand! Ah! Forget it! Wait! Die. For what, huh? What? Wait! God, someone out there has a gun. Con, I'm not gonna waste my life over this stupid game, and I won't let you either. Come on, Con. Take off your- No! Stop! I've come this far. I'm not gonna let you ruin this for me. I'm telling you, Leo. Don't get in my way. No! You're being ridiculous! Con, you're gonna waste your life for no reason. There'll be other opportunities for you to prove yourself. Come on, Con. Just take off the- Look, Leo! If you don't wanna go on, then fine. I'll go on myself. Whether or not you do, is your choice. You're not getting in my way of the prize. I get you! Come on, boys! Get it, sir! Bitch! Where are you? Show yourself! Get out of my way! They're... They're getting closer. Tom, think about your... It's your choice. Okay. Got my back? Of course. But we're doing it my way. Let's go. Ah! <laughs> 
go. I just don't understand why he didn't take off his mask. <laughs> Very impressive. What's wrong? Was the clap too... cliché? Where's the prize? I'm surprised you two were the ones to make it to the end. I was sure that the fat one who was trying to conceal his pistol at the gathering was going to win. Wait, so you knew he had a gun? I said, where's the prize? Well, you see, the thing about the prize is... ANSWER ME! You didn't think there'd be more than one winner. Hey, wait! Can we, like, split the prize? Whatever it is? I mean, we came in this together. Aren't you, like, the guy that runs this thing? Who makes the rules around here? Khan, I don't know. I mean... I'm sorry, Leo. I told you not to get in my way. Besides, you never really wanted the prize anyways. We entered this game together. <laughs> but won't you throw away from your misguided goals? I should do it! Believe me, I want to. But I won't. I hope you find what you're looking for. Guess that makes me the winner. <laughs> Guess so. Good morning. Ah. Where am I? Ah, <sighs> always the first question. You lied to me. You said there'd be a prize. I never lied to you. And, after all, what is a lie? Tis but the truth in a masquerade. What are you gonna do to me? Nothing worse than you've already done to yourself. You see, I'm going to leave. My associates and I have something exciting planned for tomorrow. Here's a sneak peek. Come on, man, please, just take off the mask. Put down Don't the knife, man. Listen to me. Favorite part is I'm sorry, man. I told you not to get in my way. Besides, you never really wanted the prize anyways. For what, Pop? Just imagine the public's reaction to such gladiatorial violence. I mean, <laughs> if this doesn't bring families back to eating dinner together, I don't know what will. Before I go, 
let's get to meet the real Khan. So, what brought you to this moment? Peer pressure, trying to find a new you, all a hoax to make your parents actually care about you again? I see I did it early. Shall we explore? Is this a classic case of workaholic parents, sibling rivalry, or failed expectations, combinations of any, I don't know. Give me something to work with here. Just let me go. Where would you even go? You honestly have no idea where you are. Or where are you going? Just like before. This situation should seem familiar to you. Right now, your parents are probably rejoicing at the fact you haven't returned this morning. Thinking rightfully so, you've won and your life is going to turn into a fairy tale. Guess what? They might be right. Let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this on loop, and you're going to watch it. You still have one other thing left to do for me. I'll be back in a couple of days. And when I do, I want a better answer to my question. And who are you?